I remember the first time I watched a rocket launch on TV. The thundering roar of the engines, the blazing orange inferno spewing from the nozzles, and the steady rise of the rocket as it began its ascent to the heavens. Pretty amazing sight, isn't it? Unfortunately, traditional chemical rockets like the one you just saw become too heavy and too inefficient the further and faster you want to travel. So if we want to extensively explore Mars, the rest of the solar system, and possibly even other stars, we need a better solution. But before we get to electric propulsion, we should talk about what propulsion is first. Propulsion is how a spacecraft moves by pushing stuff called propellant out the back at very high speeds. All forms of propulsion rely on Newton's third law, which states that if object 1 exerts a force on object 2, object 2 exerts a force of the same magnitude back on object 1. Now, imagine the skateboard and I are a spaceship and the weights are the propellant. When the spacecraft applies a force on its propellant to push it out, the propellant applies the same amount of force on the spacecraft pushing it forward. Instead of how chemical rockets release hot, fiery gas, Electric thrusters release ions, or charged atoms, at very high speeds. Let's take a closer look. First, either solar panels or a nuclear reactor provide an ion thruster with energy. The thruster then uses a gas, such as xenon, as a propellant. The xenon atoms are released into a chamber with the electrons. These electrons collide with the xenon atoms and help knock some of their electron friends out of the xenon atoms. The xenon atoms then become positively charged ions since they lose the negatively charged electrons. The positive ions are then accelerated from a positively charged grid to a negatively charged grid since the ions are attracted to the negative grid and are pushed out. Lastly, more electrons are sprayed at the exiting ions to neutralize them and prevent them from being attracted back into the engine. Whew, rocket science, am I right? Unfortunately, the problem with electric propulsion is that the force it provides is small. Very, very small. Like, this small. As a result, electrically powered spacecraft can only fly through free space and take a long time to pick up speed. So why is electric propulsion important? Electric thrusters have a very high specific impulse, meaning they are extremely efficient. Long after a chemical rocket would have run out of fuel, an electrically propelled spacecraft would be able to reach much higher speeds and travel significantly farther while using up to 90% less fuel. Missions such as Deep Space One and Dawn have demonstrated the capability of electric propulsion and with new advances in the field, electric thrusters will continue to become more powerful and usable in the future. This technology can help us transcend new frontiers and uncover the mysteries of the solar system, one ion at a time.